Ventilator alarms serve a very important purpose in respiratory care because they alert us as medical professionals whenever an issue is present between the patient and the ventilator. In this video, we're going to cover the basics of the apnea alarm and provide you with a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, a ventilator alarm is a safety mechanism on the mechanical ventilator that uses a set of parameters to provide alerts whenever there is a potential problem related to the patient-ventilator interaction. The alarms can be visual, audible, or both, depending on the ventilator setting and the patient's condition. In order to learn each of the different ventilator alarms, you must develop an understanding of the different ventilator modes and settings which is something we've talked a lot about in other videos here on our channel. But for this video, we are specifically focusing on the apnea alarm. An apnea alarm in mechanical ventilation is triggered whenever the total frequency drops below a preset low frequency limit. This is useful in ensuring that a minimum number of breaths are delivered to the patient. Also, most ventilators come with a preset apnea period that is typically around 20 seconds, although some allow the operator to adjust this time limit. The activation of an apnea alarm most commonly occurs whenever there is a disconnection in the circuit from the ET tube. When this occurs, the respiratory therapist must ensure that the patient is being ventilated by delivering manual breaths until the source of the disconnection is identified. Again, for this video, we just wanted to provide you with a brief overview of this topic. If you want to dive even deeper into ventilator alarms, we do have a full guide on our website, which I will link to right below this video down in the description. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.